Hello, I'm Natalie MacDonald and you're watching Sydney Direct on Dukoscopy TV. The workforce demographic is changing and employers are changing with it. That's the thoughts of Michael Morgan of KREAB Research. I caught up with him ahead of the Financial Services Council's annual conference. <laughs> Michael, welcome to Dukoscopy TV. Many thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Natalie, my pleasure. Thank you so much. So we're discussing retirement income and older workers. Walk us through the, the present state of play that you see within this industry. Well, I think there's a bit of a tipping point that we've reached in the Australian workplace around how we treat older workers, both how they feel and how employers are actually responding to their needs. How does Australia sit then in terms of a, a global viewpoint? This is a, a sector that we see a lot of discussion on on a global basis. Where does Australia sit in terms of its forward thinking perhaps on this? Well, in terms of forward thinking, I think it's a work in progress. Uh, we still Australia still has the same challenges as the rest of the OECD in terms of an ageing workforce and the challenges that brings in terms of employment. But also we're starting to see changes to the way that uh, employers are responding to those needs. And increasingly what we're seeing is that older workers are becoming more valuable. In terms of government support then, what are we seeing from policymakers, or what do we perhaps need to see? Well look, there's a bit of a, a discussion going on around what we do with super, how we deal with superannuation and there's also uh, discussions around what sort of extra levels of support might be needed in terms of keeping older workers in the workplace. Now we're not yet to the level of legislated responses and I think that there's, uh, I'm optimistic that we'll actually have a lot of development without uh, that level of engagement. But what we're seeing right now is actually not governments, but employers changing the way they uh, uh, meet the challenges of having an ageing workforce. What? Let's talk this through from then an employer's standpoint. What are the benefits then of taking on an older workforce? Is it just creating a broader pool of talent perhaps? Well, I think they're very different talents that older workers bring to the table. I mean, particularly people who've experienced not just the last global financial crisis, for example, and particularly in relation to the financial services sector, but who've lived through ups and down times. And that brings a whole new level of understanding and insight to challenges ahead. So we might well see that there is a highly talented younger person coming out of an MBA, for example, who may not be right for a job, but whereas someone who's gone through downturn, who's actually managed to restructure, uh, becomes highly valued by an employer. We're going to be hearing from you more at the FSC's annual conference taking place at the Gold Coast. What's the key message or takeaway that you would like to provide attendees with? Uh, it's two things. On the one hand, we've got growing confidence from older workers that they're not only able to stay in the workforce, but actually want to for a range of reasons. Now, they may range from financial reasons of uh, you know increased uh, income, but also to satisfaction levels, actually wanting to contribute more and having you know uh, esteem issues around you know what they're actually adding to a, a workplace. To uh, a secondary issue, which is all around the lessening of barriers to them actually staying. So we're actually seeing a, a quite a, a sharp drop in the number of people reporting that they're facing workplace discrimination uh, in the workplace. And that's quite significant. In fact, it's almost halved, halved over the last three years. We look forward to hearing more from Michael Morgan at the FSC's annual conference taking place at the Gold Coast. For now though, it's goodbye from me.